Merci d'être là avec moi. Euh, J'ai demandé à mes abonnés sur ma chaîne YouTube de vous poser euh, leurs questions en fait, sur, euh, sur vos romans, sur ce qu'ils ont, euh, qu ont aimé. Et toutes les questions qu'ils aimaient, euh, ils auraient aimé vous poser parce que j'ai énormément de phrases de vos livres euh, sur ma chaîne YouTube. Donc la première question c'est, euh, en trois mots, comment décririez-vous la saga d'Emily euh, Summer Secret Stabs. Comment vous est venue l'idée de la saga Est-ce que vous êtes euh, inspiré de votre propre expérience No, just no. When I was 13, when I got the idea of the books, just the books I were I was reading at the time, I, I didn't really like what I was reading. And just one day, I, I got the idea of step siblings, and it, and it just kind of came to me. I I found it really interesting. I, even though I was so young, I kind of I wondered about it. I was like, oh, is it right or is it wrong for like a step, like a girl yeah. to fall for a step brother? So and then I found it a really interesting topic, and that's why I decided to write about it. Um, and I, I had a lot of fun actually exploring the issue of you know, whether a step sibling relationship is right or wrong. Have you any points in common with Eden? Um, I mean, Eden's quite stubborn sometimes. I like, can be quite stubborn as well. But also, Eden doesn't really like back down easily. When she's kind of when she wants something and she thinks something's right, she won't back down and she'll kind of she'll stand her ground and, and stand up for what she believes in. They're kind of the same, but um, I'd say the character that I'm most like. On m'a aussi beaucoup demandé si vous étiez inspiré de la saga After, notamment pour le personnage de Tyler. Well, I actually wrote Dimly before After existed, so okay. um, yeah, Tyler's been around longer than Hard and has. So um, yeah, no, Tyler was just at the time I just loved bad boys, and you know, bad boys are so they're so cliché, so common, and yeah, that alone is love Love the bad boy cliché, especially me. So just at the age of 13, I just went. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I would love to like be a guy like Tyler, but I don't think I would like her to be my stepmother. So, <laughs> no, I would love to kind of have that relationship, but just not steps. Est-ce que vous pensez que vous allez écrire un tome 4 de Emily, un message qui va se passer entre Eden et Tyler? Not at the moment. Um, no fourth book, to be honest. At least, sort of, it's over. Just now, I'm working on something new. You know? Tyler needed their stories told, so no fourth book. Um, but yeah, I, I am working on, on new different things. Est-ce qu'une adaptation cinématographique est prévue? Unfortunately, no movie deals at the moment. But you know, that's like my next kind of big dream is to get is to get movie deal, especially for Dimly, because I would love to see you know like the Dimly trilogy on the big screen in cinemas. And um, yeah, so fingers crossed that maybe one day that dream will come true. Et donc, euh, dans mon rêve les plus fous, qui pourrait incarner Tyler et Eden? Um, for Eden, it would be Selena Gomez because yeah. I've always imagined Selena Gomez as Eden. Um, and for Tyler, it would be True Roy. Um, he's not so known, but he's, he's in a few things. Um, he's in Fallen Skies. It's not so known, you know it. But um, if I see Jesse from Hat Montana, yeah. that might be. Well, he's, that's True Roy. Donc, aussi, on m'a demandé s'il y avait un autre projet de roman que de Ah, yeah, I can see that it's a still young adult team. And again, it's, it's romance, but this time it's a standalone novel. So it's just one book. Okay. Um, and if, like, you know, fans of Ghibli, I think they're really going to love it as well. So. Okay. Depuis combien de temps que vous écrivez? I've always been writing. Um, even since I was like young, back at school, like even like six, seven years old, I was I've been writing. I loved it. They weren't very good stories. And they weren't very long. But you know, I loved doing it. Um, and when I was about 12, 13, that's when I started taking much more seriously. And when I was 12, that's when I wrote like, my first like full length novel. And when I was 13, I wrote Dimly. So, okay. um, yeah, it was about 12, 13, that's when it kind of changed and I took it more seriously. Quel est le personnage que vous avez le plus aimé développer dans la saga I mean, I really love developing Tyler's character because his character goes through like the biggest transformation. Um, but I also really love Eden's dad. And I know, you know like, I, I don't love him for like that reason, but I love writing about him. I loved kind of just the way he acted in the scenes. I just loved him as that. Um, but I also really loved Ella's character. Because um, in the first book, you know, we kind of cast her on one side and we just think, well, she's just a stepmom. But by the third book, you know, Ella, she really proves herself and she's a great mom and she's kind of an important character um, in the trilogy. So I loved um, Ella's character as well. What did you like to say to 
uh, Eclipse from West Valley. Um, just when I was 13 and I was writing these books, I really wanted people to read my work, but I was too embarrassed to show my family and I was too embarrassed to show my friends. So I looked around online for like writing websites and you know, I found a couple of starting to post my work online. And, um, and I'm so glad that I did because I ended up getting discovered that way. That's how my publisher found me because I built up a fan base online. So yeah, I'm so glad that I didn't decide to kind of put myself out there and post my work online. Is this going to be that one now? Can you see? I never. Um, I was just a normal. Like I said, I started when I was 13. It was just something I was just doing like in my free time, just as a hobby. Like I just loved writing, just loved creating characters, and kind of just let my imagination run wild and just do whatever I wanted with the story. Um, I just did it and just half people read it and it's kind of like a bonus, not the same. Um, so I never expected it to actually you know, become big on what and then I never expected to get a book deal, then I never expected to become like an international bestseller and it's just been getting better and better and better. And yeah, no, I'm just so like lucky and so grateful the way it's all happened. Est-ce que vous avez quelques conseils à donner à quelqu'un qui veut se lancer sur Wattpad ou dans l'écriture en général Think for people who want to just write in general, I think don't overthink it. Because you know, if you get an idea and you start overthinking it, then you scare yourself away from writing because you realize you know, how tough of a task it can be. And I think if you have an idea and you know, you're inspired to actually write, you just don't think to think about it, just start writing. Because it doesn't have to be perfect the first time around, you can go back and change it. You can go back and Write the first couple of chapters if you were still kind of just winging it along the way. But um, and for people that want to post a notepad, I think just go for it. Um, because even you know, not a book deal might necessarily not come out with it, but you know, you're still going to get um, feedback from people that's going to motivate you and it's going to help you improve. So, you know, it's definitely, um, definitely an amazing website to put your work on. Une question qui est revenue beaucoup de fois, c'est qui sont les personnages en couverture des romans I have no idea. <laughs> I, they're, they're models, but I don't know their names. I've never found out their names, but yeah, we, when they were deciding the color, they picked the models, they were trying to pick models that looked like Selena Gomez and True Roy, like as close as possible, so <laughs> okay. um, yeah, I don't know their names though, unfortunately. Um, I really love All the Great Kisses by Jeff Rickson. Um, I absolutely love that book. I read it like over a year ago, but I haven't read anything that's better since then, so that's still my current favourite. And your favourite TV preferred? Desperate Housewives. And I also asked your favourite film. And your favourite movie? I think just with Dimly, I think just showing that it's okay, like to kind of be a bit out there, like be and do something that's not the norm. And I think throughout you know, this trilogy, Tyler and Eden, they they hold themselves back from doing what they want to do and you know how they're feeling because they're afraid of what other people think. Um, I just want to show people that you, know, you shouldn't let other people's judgment or opinions on you like hold you back from what you want to do. Merci beaucoup de m'avoir accordé ce temps et d'avoir répondu aux questions des abonnés. Je suis, très, je suis vraiment ravie de vous avoir rencontré. Ça m'a fait extrêmement plaisir parce que je suis aussi fan de, de votre saga. Donc merci beaucoup. Merci. 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 merci.